Shredder. All hail to Emperor Shredder. Secret Wars. Marvel supervillains are coming. Secret Wars. Can the Marvel superheroes stop them? Marvel supervillains and superheroes figures each sold separately. I owe silver. <laughs> figure enthusiasts out there jc here and welcome to a monday edition of tni news and as always we've got a lot to cover today but real quick before we get into today's news just a reminder if you're new to this channel please think about subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you're alerted every time i upload a new video and that way you can stay on top of all the latest action figure news as it happens all right so let's get into today's news and we've got a lot to go over as i said so let's start off with a little bit of news on the Hot Toys front. This is actually something I meant to talk about on Friday, but forgot. So I'm going to go on and bring it up here. But we've got a new Back to the Future 3 one scale DeLorean vehicle from Hot Toys. So this thing is pretty high-end with a high-end price tag, as you would expect. You've got things like electronic lights and everything. Again, it is based on the appearance of the DeLorean in the third movie. You've got the white wall tires from the 50s. You've got the upgrades from Doc Brown uh, that he made in the Old West. So if you're a fan of Back to the Future 3 and you've got the room for this thing, this is one that you might want to check out. The price on it is $850. Bucks. It is available for pre-order now at places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. And it is listed with a June 2025 release date so over a year and a half to go before this thing's going to actually be released but uh, you might need that time just to save up the money because again it does have a hefty price tag which you know for those of you who collect hot toys you're probably used to that now for you transformer fans we got some new images that just surfaced of the transformers legacy united g1 universe autobot gear so this is what i'm pretty excited about um, I've been hoping for a good G1 Gears for some time. This one is said to stand uh, about 5.5 inches tall. So this is one that you know might even work with your Masterpiece Transformers if you're so inclined. You know, I'm not sure if we'll ever get a Masterpiece gear, so this might be the next best thing. Definitely looks you know pretty true to his G1 uh, counterpart in both vehicle and robot mode. So, uh, no specific details other than this should be released in April of this year. Um, I'm thinking it might be going up for pre-order tomorrow, which is the 16th Tuesday, probably, at, well, if it is going up for pre-order tomorrow, it will be at 1 p.m. Eastern time. And I say that because I know there is something going up for pre-order Transformer related tomorrow, and I'm thinking because these images have just surfaced, this is probably what, what it's going to be. So it should be available at places like our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, Amazon, and pretty much everywhere else that carries Transformers, I'm guessing we'll have it up for pre-order as well. So again, if you're like me and you've been hoping for a nice looking uh, G1 Gears, this is one that you're probably going to want to check out. Going from Transformers to Marvel, we have a new rumor list for you. This is thanks to JT Prime who discovered this wave of figures. Now all I have is, is just the initial listings, no specific figures, but from these listings here you can see it looks like we're going to be getting some type of Secret Wars wave. Now the retro I'm, I'm guessing is indicating uh, retro card backs. Could these be on uh, card backs that are similar to the old Mattel Secret Wars line? Normally I would say no, but last year you may recall there was an announcement that Hasbro and Mattel had started to work together on select things. So it's actually maybe possible that they've worked out something where, where they would allow Hasbro to replicate those old Mattel figures. I don't know, um, but... I think it, it, it could be a possibility at least. Um, and uh, as far as Secret Wars go, these are, from what I understand, these will be comic book based figures, not MC or anything like that. They're supposed to be out at the end of this year in December, around that time frame. So this isn't going to be something you know that we see actually released for a while now. Uh, but keep in mind that this year is going to be the 40th anniversary of the original Secret Wars uh, limited series. And we know how Hasbro likes to do, you know, waves of figures and stuff for, you know, special uh, comic book based anniversaries. So I feel like this will be, you know, something based on that original series with the Beyonder and everything. Does that mean we'll get an actual Beyonder figure? 
Well, I certainly hope so, but you know, we'll have to see. There shouldn't be a build a figure with this wave because it is going to be some type of retro card back. Again, I don't know if it'll be like the card backs that look like the old Mattel Secret Wars line. You know, could we get those uh, holographic shields as well with the figures? I don't know, but um, uh, I, I don't think there's going to be a build a figure with this wave. But definitely hoping for a Beyonder. I am guessing there will be some you know characters that we've gotten before, so maybe repaints. You know, we got that Doctor Doom Secret Wars version in the Avengers 60th Anniversary two pack with the photon figure, so it might be something along those lines. Mondo has released official images for their upcoming soft vinyl timed edition juggernaut figure. So they showed this off recently. I believe it was at Designer Con. This thing's going to stand around 12 inches tall, so it's pretty massive. It is going to have minimal articulation. It is said to have swivel articulation at the arms, fists, and boots. So, you know, this isn't going to be like a super articulated figure. The width of it is said to be about 15 inches wide. So, again, this guy is pretty massive. It also has a pretty hefty price tag to it. It's going to uh, cost you 200 bucks if you want to add this to your collection. But, you know, if you really wanted a giant, like, juggernaut, uh, I, I, this is probably too big to fit in with, like, six-inch figures, even for a big guy like Juggernaut. But definitely, if you're a fan of Juggernaut, uh, this might be something that you want to check out. It does look like it's nicely detailed. So this is going to be going up for pre-order on the Mondo website. It's, again, a timed edition, so it's going to be available from uh, uh, this coming Tuesday at noon to uh, Friday uh, the 19th. So you've got uh, multiple days to pre-order this one. Again, it's going to cost you 200 bucks. And again, it's going to be available on the Mondo Shop website. Beast Kingdom has put up for pre-order a new Justice League Dynamic Action Heroes Batman figure. This is version 2 for Batman. And so this figure is going to stand a little over 8 inches tall. You're going to get multiple pairs of hands, a battering, a grapple gun, a grapple line, and a grapple hook. And again, this has gone up for pre-order. You can get it places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store. And the cost of this one is $59.99. For you Hasbro real Ghostbuster fans, those Fright feature figures that Hasbro actually told us wouldn't be available at retailers outside of Target until like April... Um, I guess something changed because uh, places like Entertainment Earth and Big Bad Toy Store went on and put these figures up for pre-order today. They're $15.99 each, and they're supposed to be out in February, supposed to see release in February. So um, I'm not sure why Hasbro, like just a week ago, told us that these weren't going to be available outside of Target until um, like April or something. But again, they are available for pre-order now at places besides uh, Target. And again, the cost of these is $15.99 each. Thanks to Ahsoka the Geek, we have a look at the DC Multiverse Platinum Edition Steel figure. So this version of Steel has a gray cape as opposed to red. Looks like his shorts and belt are more of a white color as well. So again, this is going to be the Platinum Edition version of Steel, which means it's a chase variant. It'll be packed in with the regular versions of Steel. Some places do sell these separately at a little bit higher cost. But if you want to add this to your collection, um, look for it when, when you see the regular steel figure, which is available for pre-order at places like Entertainment Earth, uh, Amazon, and Big Bad Toy Store. And the release on, on the regular version of steel is, is next month. So honestly, you might start see, seeing steel on shelves anytime now. Fresh Monkey Fiction has released this preview image of their upcoming uh, Monster for Season 3, the Gridiron Commando. So it's an unpainted prototype image that they've released. This will be available at places like Big Bad Toy Store. In fact, Big Bad Toy Store, I believe, uh, sells this line exclusively. So again, uh, Big Bad Toy Store will be the place to go for this one. But again, uh, we've got this preview image of the Gridiron Commando uh, Season 3 figure. Tomasi Nations has released this preview image of two new Tekken 8 figures that they're going to be doing, Jin and Mishima, I believe is how you say the name. So these are going to be going up for pre-order starting on February 1st. Right now we just have this preview image of the two figures. So when more details become available, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And then finally for today, I've got some new images of two new uh, NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. 
So the first one is the Evil Rex Deluxe figure. So I talked about this the other week. We would gotten the DPCI number. We now have a listing on the Target website for this figure, though it's not yet still available for purchase. It's just a placeholder page. But the cost of this one is going to be $49.99, so $50. Bucks. Um, again, this is a deluxe figure. It's one that you might want to army build. Uh, there was multiples of Evil Rex, so technically this is an army builder type figure. And then the second figure is uh, from the last Ronin, uh, the Ultimate Patrol Bot. So again, a listing on the Target website, but it's not yet available for actual purchase. The cost of that one's going to be $34.99. Now I should note that the Evil Rex is going to be a Target Store exclusive. The, the Patrol Bot, however, uh, should be available at other e-tailers at some point. So Target will not be the only place carrying that one. But again, Evil Rex, which of course is an animated series figure, will be exclusive to Target. Okay, so that's it for today. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything I talked about down in the comment section below. Like this video if you're so inclined. And as I mentioned at the beginning, if you're new to this channel, please think about subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. As always, guys, stay safe out there, and until next time, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching today's video. Now, if you're new to the channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. For all the latest action figure news, be sure to head over to toynewseye.com, marvelousnews.com, jediinsider.com, and tformers.com. And remember, action figures are great!